Lethalan, I need to ask something of you. I thought the Arulin home would be the last thing I needed, but the Illuvian still won't work. I think... I think I have to go back to the... spirit that helped me at the start of all this. Why do you think this demon will help? He knows about the mirror. I don't know how much. He won't tell me everything, and it's dangerous to trust. He said he witnessed its forging. He told me how to cleanse it of its corruption. He must know how to make it work. What do you mean, it doesn't work? Well, look at it! Do you think it's supposed to just sit there and show nothing at all? I can feel the power in it, but it's like it's asleep. I can't seem to wake it. <laughs> nothing bad ever comes from summoning demons. That's why, why I need you to come with me. I've called to the spirit, but he doesn't seem to hear. He was sealed in an artifact on Sundermount. I have to look for him there. But if things go wrong, if he possesses me, I need you to strike me down. You want to summon a demon that may possess you, then have me kill you? How is that a plan? Please do this for me. There's no one else I trust. I need you, Lethalan. I'd never forgive myself if someone else got hurt because of me. Go to Marathari. Maybe there's an alternative to summoning the demon. The Keeper would never help me. Why do you think I had to find the demon in the first place? The whole clan has moved on by now anyway. You'll never find her. This back. Twine? When did I loan you a ball of twine? You gave it to me when I first moved here when I kept getting lost in Lowtown. It drove the merchants in the market completely batty, but it did help me find my way. Keep it, Daisy. I don't think I'll be getting lost again anytime soon. Oh, you never know. Might need to uh, tie a package up, hang a lantern, dress a roast chicken. It's multi-purpose. Right. She's made up her mind. Welcome home, darling. This isn't a homecoming keeper. Why is the clan even here? You should have moved on ages ago. The clan still has business here, Dalen. We will leave when it is time. It was time three years ago. You can't stay here. Eventually, the humans will force you to leave. There are plenty of hiding places in these mountains. We will stay until my business is done. If you are not returning to us, what has brought you back? If one of the Dalish becomes an abomination, Oh, what do you do? If you are hoping the Dalish hold miracles, child, I'm afraid you will be disappointed. Even if the demon is driven out, the soul is left scarred. It can never recover, not truly. Like a wounded animal, it will fall prey to scavengers. The only cure is death. How can Merrill fix the Alluvian? I wouldn't restore that cursed thing, even if I could. It has stolen life and promise from my clan already. And this was the least treacherous thing it was capable of doing. You must come to your senses, Meryl. This evil cannot be allowed in our world. It is part of our world. It has been in our world for centuries. No one is pained more by Maheriel's loss than I, but the mirror wasn't responsible. But I'm wasting my time. You'd rather fear the past than reclaim it. This is pointless, Hawk. Let's go. Mithal, all mothers, protector of the people, watch over us. For the path we tread is perilous. Save us from the darkness, as you did before, and we will sing your name to the heavens. Sorry. I didn't mean to hold us. You just... It's never wise to ignore Mithal. Who or what is Mithal? She's the protector. The mother of the creators. The one who put the moon in the sky. Wisest of all the gods. 
When Elganarn defeated his father, the sun, the earth was plunged into darkness. Everything was about to perish. Mithal appeared then, calmed Elganarn, and restored the sun to the heavens. The people always looked to her for help. If she's temperamental, maybe I should join you. It wouldn't hurt. They say if Mithal smiles on you, then you need fear nothing at all. But those who anger her, they're struck from the earth, as if they never lived at all. Something is wrong. This is where the spirit was bound. But now it feels... empty. Who bound this demon here and why? There was a war long ago. Between my people and the Tevinter Imperium. After the Magister sank Arlathan, my people made a last stand here, fighting on the graves of our elders. I don't know if it was the Elvenan or Tevinter who bound the spirit, but he was left here from the war. Maybe it freed itself? It would have taken powerful magic to break him free of this prison. You couldn't just set him loose. Nobody could. Not without doing something terrible. This is very wrong. How are we going to finish the mirror now? I don't know. I don't understand what's happened. How can he be gone? I happened. Keeper, what have you done? The demon's plan was always for you to complete the mirror. It would have been a doorway out of this prison and into our world. You would have been his first victim. I couldn't let that happen, Dalen. You didn't think to mention that the demon was gone before we hiked all the way up here. It's not gone. I couldn't fight it in the Fade while it was trapped. And I couldn't banish it without making it stronger. So, I made myself its prison. Kill me, and it dies too. Meryl will finally be safe. No! You can't ask the... I won't do this! You always knew your blood magic had a price, Darlene. I have chosen to pay it for you. Dareth Shira. Traitor! May the Dreadwolf hunt you for the rest of your days. I was trying to rebuild my life. Why did you have to come back? Everyone has fed me. Dallin. Keeper. You've beaten it, Dallin. You are so much stronger than I imagined. The demon is dead. Keeper, I... Let's leave this awful place. The clan should hear the good news. You told us that the demon was bound to your life. It would only die with you. Irabalas, Keeper. <laughs> Oh. 
Keeper! What have you done? I don't want this! I never wanted this! Creators, please let this be a bad dream! I'll wake up and feel like an idiot and she'll scold me for not listening. Exactly which part of don't talk to demons or awful things will happen did you fail to understand? If there was a price to pay, I should have paid it. She had no right to interfere. I don't think anybody wanted this. Not even the demon. Marathari did what she had to. Why couldn't she have believed in me? I don't know what to do now. I... I should go to the clan. Someone needs to know, needs to come and... take care of her. We know the Keeper came here. What's going on? Where is she? Feneral. The Keeper... she... Look at her, Feneral. She's covered in blood. What have you done, Meryl? Keeper! Can you hear me? She's dead. I should have guessed you'd turn on her. You monster! The Keeper turned into a demon. We had no choice. There would have been no demon, if it weren't for this little flat-eared bitch. We've suffered enough because of this traitor. It ends now. My... <laughs> Let me guess. That's your final answer? Three mages have fled to Ferelden, and you have intervened to protect them, as if it is your right to do so. What other answer did you expect, your majesty? A maybe might have been nice. I do not deal in maybes. I deal in cold, hard facts, as should you. Perhaps when Ferelden next chooses a king, it will be one that takes his duty to the Maker seriously. Well, that was awkward. That's just Meredith's idea of Kirkwall hospitality. Really? Kirkwall brutality? You must rip the skin off your face, then. This is the champion of Kirkwall. Right, I'm Alistair. Oh, uh, uh, King of Ferelden. And this is Tegan, my uncle. Sort of. I'm actually Tegan. I'm only sort of his uncle. Your Majesty, may I say... What an honor it is to meet you. Well, you could, but you'd be the first today. I fought at Ostagar. What happened there was a great tragedy. Ah, uh, yes, it was. Sadly, Loghain still lives. So, you're a king now. Moving up in the world. Isabella, right? You look different. Don't we all? I was hoping we could talk. Would have been better timing before being emasculated by Meredith, but I'm not picky. Things are looking up. It's not often I get called on to meet with foreign leaders. I know you came here from Lothering. A Ferelden refugee that did well for herself. Against all odds. I have to admit, I was hoping your influence in Kirkwall might be of use. Things haven't been going well with Orlay. Without a Viscount here, however, there's only the Knight Commander to deal with. You were having an argument about mages. Yes, well, apparently I don't feel the same way about mages as the Chantry does. So, we're in disagreement. That means they get nasty. They're like that. Sounds like the Circle is better off in Ferelden. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Sadly, I don't control the Circle. I can only deal with mages outside the Circle, of which there aren't many. Aren't they in your kingdom? Why not just kick the Templars out? Ha! Ah, easier said than done. We'll see what comes of it. Ferelden had a blight to contend with, remember? We're not exactly at our strongest.
A lot of your people fled to Kirkwall, you know. I know. I wish I could have helped them. Their blight devastated the kingdom, and afterwards, well, it hasn't exactly been peaceful. They're welcome back, of course, as are you. But after so many years away, would you still consider it home? Ferelden will always be my home. I hope we see you back there someday. We could use someone like you, champion. Is there to be a war, then? I hope not. You're more optimistic than I am. Empress Selene is doing her best. Orlais isn't the most stable place right now. What's happening in Orlais? Oh, the usual. Attempted assassinations, uprising, fancy parties with stinky cheeses. Apparently, some Orlesians think it would be grand to get their lost province back. Well, we won't let them swoop down on us, will we? That's right. Swooping is bad. Hypothetically speaking, you could fix the no Viscount situation. It's not a terrible idea, really. A lot of people would benefit from Hawk running this town. That's asking a lot. It's tempting, but I'm sorry to say that my support won't mean much without the support of the Templars. I suppose it doesn't matter. I was hoping to have your help before Meredith got wind of my arrival, but that's done now. What you can do is protect Kirkwall. It will take someone like you to keep it from falling apart. Just me, standing between the city and disaster, huh? I've been there. Trust me, it isn't pretty. Well, I suppose we should be getting back. We should. The hero of Ferelden should be back in Denerim by now. You're always so formal. He has a name, you know. You have no Viscount. It's clear you're suffering without sufficient leadership. That doesn't grant default authority to you or your commander. It would be easier if you cooperated. Wouldn't it? Guard, Captain. Trouble? Yes. He's been hounding me. These Templars strut around as it is, but now it's just... out of hand. He could be fishing for a less strenuous position here in the barracks. Well, he won't be getting one from me. That's not what Cullen has heard. What are you talking about? That you coddle your men. It's all lies, of course, but it's out there. No wonder the lieutenant was harassing me. Bastards. If they think I'm coddling anyone, it'll be my husband, Donick. You and I will intercept his patrol tonight. Then you can see for yourself if I'm coddling him, or any in my command. Well, I could do with a breath of fresh air. Good, because there's no way I would let this go. Cullum wants to know if these things are true. You'll be able to tell him. Donick's patrol, Hawk. Me and you, tonight. Accuse me of being soft. Not in this lifetime. Sir Ahawk. Or is it always champion now? You're too much of a chameleon, my friend. I didn't expect to find you so deep in bandits. A good day, to be sure. I'll be sore tomorrow, but it was my choice. Tell me what's going on. It's all right. Go ahead. Every guard chooses the patrol they want. My wife promotes from the bold, not the reckless. Action is up. Casualties are down. It is... remarkable. As are you, love. Thank you. That will do. Another time, Sir Arhawk. Safe travels. That should be sufficient. Take that to the Templar. Indeed. Let's go talk to Cullen. Champion, 
And you are with the captain. None too happy about the accusations against her, I'm sure. You could say that. I have successfully wasted my time, and there is no merit to the claims. As I suspected. Then why press this? Some feel that the solution to the current crisis of leadership is to consolidate authority. As long as these complaints continue, baseless or not, they will serve as justification for eliminating the position of Guard Captain. It would be the simplest fix, whether or not I agree. Just point me in the right direction, and I'll get you some peace and quiet. I have no answers for you other than to say that all of the complaints have come from Lowtown. Guardsman Brennan is on that patrol. Why wouldn't she tell me of this? I don't know, but I do apologize for the assumptions of this incident, Guard Captain. It has been unfortunate. It's not done. To Lowtown, Hawk. I need to speak to Brennan. Guardsman! Why did a Templar have to tell me there is unrest in this district? What's going on? Better make it good. It's Captain Jevon. I didn't report his return because I'm ashamed for him. He's trying to rile the guards against you, but none of us will follow him. You lead better than he ever did. We've made so many enemies. I don't remember him as that impressive. He deserves to be forgotten. He abused his position and blamed me when we caught him. He was well liked by some, but not once the truth was known. Well, let's go have a chat with the man. The guards will have nothing to do with him. So he found others. Militia. Mostly anti Ferelden. The same kind who were against the Canari. I guess it's been long enough they've forgotten how many the champion killed. A rally against the tyranny of the guard and foreigners who infest Kirkwall. I'm sorry, Captain. Return to the barracks. The rally is in Darktown, Hawk. I need to be there. Don't like Darktown? Die and make room. The champion? Here. It's the captain. Are we ready for this? Too long, brave Kirkwall. You did not throw off all others only to fall under Ferelden influence. Leaderless, displaced, alien hands on the most basic authority, foreign elite bleeding you. Jevon, you disgrace yourself. The Ferelden with the Elysian name. Is there anyone else who so embodies how far this city has fallen? This one is all yours, Captain. Do they know how you sacrificed your men? How you alone disgraced your name? Bitch! You took everything from me! You took it from yourself. The guard know this, and none stand with you. He stands alone. This is no rebellion. It is delusion. A joke inflicted on Kirkwall, your home and mine. I will not be left with nothing again. No. You shall have less. Better luck in the next one. You fool. Why would you do this? If I live to a hundred, I will never understand his kind. To the barracks, Hawk. My guardsmen will be waiting. Jevon, son of a bitch. You build a good thing, work your hardest, and the past just claws at you. Tell me about it. I can't go 20 minutes without getting jumped. But when does it start to hurt those you care about? I've tried to lead well, but this... I wonder what I would do if my captain lost my respect. Captain, we're waiting for orders. Will you accept them? May I speak freely? There isn't a man or woman here who wouldn't follow you through the void. Captain. Captain. 
I'll take it. I need a moment, Hawk, but... There is something else. Come back and talk to me. <laughs> and then he says, he says, I swear I had two when I came in here. <laughs> you know, those stains never came out. You are horrible. Every inch. You love it, big girl. And you owe me for the bottle. Hawk. <laughs> She's not so bad. Except when she is. Did you know I've been dead for seven years? I got word last week. They only just sorted the casualties of Ostagar. The King has offered to reinstate the commission of any surviving officers who will return to Ferelden. And? And what? Does this appeal matter? I thought you were sworn to Caelan. King Alistair has apparently become something of a sensation. A champion of hope. Regardless of who has the throne, I served Ferelden. The country survives, even if Caelan didn't. You brought it up. What's your decision? It's been a strange time here in Kirkwall. Did Carver ever tell you about that last night at Ostagar? How it happened? I don't mean the betrayal. Everyone knows the signal went up and the flanking charge never came. But that moment when the tower lit and then... The fight just kept going. It was the oddest feeling. Hope answered with... Nothing. I don't like the thought of going out with a whimper, Hawk. Not again. Shock of shocks! You're staying! You'd walk all over a new captain. I could never subject these men to that. Thank you for everything. I have so much because of you. I'm here for you, Hawk. And for myself. Thank you for coming, champion. Few will associate with me now that I am the focus of Meredith's ire, which leaves me in a difficult position. She is not entirely wrong. Inform the criers. A miracle has occurred. I know some of my people are using dangerous means to oppose her, but I cannot seek the Templar's aid without making every mage a target. What are they doing? All I know is numerous mages have left the circle at night, sometimes for days at a time. I'd rather not follow our knight commander by leaping to the worst possible conclusion. But the idea of blood magic has crossed my mind. She does like to add one and one and get eleven, doesn't she? Sometimes a hundred and eleven. I've heard rumors, whispers of a meeting tonight in Hightown. I would go myself, but should I leave the tower without permission, Meredith would call it proof of my involvement. So I shouldn't slit my wrists and dance naked under the moonlight just to fit in? I would pay to see that. Just learn the nature of this meeting. You needn't interrupt unless you find proof of something sinister. I pray not, or Meredith will have what she needs to justify the right of annulment. Someone's coming! The Champion! We know you're spying for Orsino! Run! We'll handle this! We should search them. See if there's any further evidence of their plans. Another secret society meeting in a warehouse. Do you think the owners charge them rent? I told you she was hunting us! No, not her. I can't do this. To arms! 
bombs! I told them not to do it, I swear. If I knew you were the one they were talking about, I'd have warned you. I don't hold with kidnapping. Not after what I went through. Didn't I save your life? You did. Believe me. I still dream about those blood mages. I don't know where I'd be without you. I'd never have let them kidnap anyone I knew was one of yours. I don't like where this is heading. They said someone was spying. We needed leverage. Someone they cared about. As a hostage. We just got word they took some lad from the Grey Wardens. Your friends don't know much about my relationship with my brother, do they? They... they should have just talked to you. I know you're a reasonable person. You have to see how dangerous Meredith is. Thrask says Meredith will cause open war with the mages if she stays in charge. We have to take her down. Is this whole thing to oust the Knight Commander? She needs to go, don't you see? We need a real Viscount and Templars who protect mages, not massacre them. Just look what Thrask accomplished. Mages and Templars working together. Isn't that what we all want? Is Thrask the one running this conspiracy? He's the one who brought us together. For six years he's been working, one mage, one Templar at a time, teaching us we don't have to hate each other. He showed us Meredith isn't the only way. I'm not your enemy in this. I think Meredith is a dangerous zealot. Then talk to Thrask. He would welcome your aid. Our main base is on the Wounded Coast, an old ruin. They should all be there. Your friend, too. I promise you, Meredith is the only one we're trying to harm. I I'll go back to Marcia's. Please, don't tell Meredith about me. It would kill Masha if I got in trouble. Well, here you are. You've been sticking your nose in every problem in Kirkwall since you stumbled off the boat. Who are you again? Samson. I'm the one who fouled up your lad Fainriel's escape some years ago. Further back, I was a Templar, but that was before your time. Are the mages here using blood magic? It always comes down to that, don't it? They claim innocence, demand equality, but back them into a corner, and they got options we don't. Haven't found a mage yet who won't take it. You were the upstanding citizen begging coins to get your next flask of lyrium. It's a long time since anyone could get under my skin with that. I know what I am. So it shouldn't surprise you to see me here, right? One more blockhead move that's gonna keep me in the gutter. I just wanted to see Meredith out on her ass, like she did to me. Meredith does seem to have a serious case of the crazies, yes. But is she wrong? I'd hoped with Meredith gone I could take up the shield again. But maybe she was right. Give him a hint of freedom, mages go bad. Your friends are right. Without Meredith, Kirkwall can be at peace again. Mages and Templars. Working together. I must be dreaming. Is it that simple? I'd cheer to see her ship to Val Royo. But I don't have the stomach to turn against all that's right and natural to do it. I suppose it was too much to hope that you wouldn't have come here. Though I can't understand why you side with Meredith now. You showed me we can stand up to her. When I realized you had risked your life lying to protect those mages. Please, champion. I have nothing but respect for you. It's Meredith we must see gone. Your cause is just. 
but I take issue with your methods. I should have known you recognize the threat Meredith poses. I am sorry for any distress we caused you or your friends. Let the hostage go. No. The boy dies, then the champion. Stand down, Grace. Grace? We saved you. What are you doing? We will not kill an innocent to achieve our ends. It gains us nothing to become Meredith. Meredith? What do I care for Meredith? I'm here for the champion. I've been wondering when you'd come back to bite me in the ass. Decimus was right. There is no way for a mage to live by the Chantry's laws. You killed the best man I ever met, but I learned all he had to teach. Elaine, kill the hostage! I... I don't know, Grace. Try to do a Blood Mage a favor. This isn't right, Grace. The Champion tried to help us. Don't defy me, boy. Without me, you'd be nothing. If you're too squeamish, I'll do it myself. No. No one has to die here. <laughs> oh, but that's where you're wrong. Restrain yourself. Forget the hostage. Kill the champion! I knew she was still alive, but I didn't know Thrask was working with her. When I saw her today, it brought everything back. Everything I saw Decimus do. I... I'm sorry. Grace used blood magic to hold him. There's no other way to wake him up. <coughs> Get out of my... What? Where am I? I thought you were better than this. A couple of lousy Templars and you're down. I had no reason to think they'd turn on me. Thank you, sister. It seems I am again in your debt. And Shadow. They're meeting in here, Sir Callan. Oh, I guess you didn't get on so well with these mages as you thought. Champion, Samson never said you were involved in this. I trust you were here to stop these traitors, not join them. The Champion's a fine lady, sir. She wanted to solve this peacefully. Yeah. Put the mage to questioning. The boy stood up to his elders, when they would have killed an innocent hostage. Hmm. <laughs> you mean he was one of them, save for a convenient last-minute change of heart? I'll encourage Meredith to take it easy on him. Thank you, Champion. Everyone else here is under arrest. Take them to the gallows. Is there any recommendation you would have me bring to Meredith, Champion? She should consider reinstating Samson. When it came down to it, he showed where his heart is. True. Samson, you have done us a great service. Do you wish to take up the shield once more? M more than anything, Knight Captain, sir. Then I'll see what I can do. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Your mage Templar group was conspiring to overthrow Meredith. I have a sudden deep regret I interfered. <sighs> you know, I was half convinced Meredith had engineered the whole thing to trick me into incriminating myself. If Meredith stays in charge, she'll run Kirkwall into the ground. Speak softly, friend. There is nowhere safe to say those words. But be assured, you are not the only one thinking them. Definitely not. Please accept this as my thanks. It will be of more value to you right now than my friendship. The Knight Commander has dealt with the members of the plot you uncovered. 
But surely you're the only mage in Kirkwall who can approach the Knight Commander directly, if you wished. What would you have of me? Everyone says the Knight Commander's gone crazy. Are you still behind her? The people ask too much of her. She needs a spine of iron to survive her position. I have seen madness before. I saw Aldred's eyes when there was nothing human left in them. The Knight Commander. She is not there yet. But I do not have to ask where the rumors come from. What is the Knight Commander doing about the conspirators? Did you not see them as you came in? The Knight Commander will ensure no one follows their example. If it comes to war with the mages, whose side do you think the Grand Cleric will take? She is bound by faith and duty to support the Templars. We have dominance over mages by divine right. But it is cruel how she leads them on, letting them think they might have a chance at rebellion. Sorry to bother you. It's never a problem, champion. <laughs>